So you want to make your background white in Photoshop. Generally, your background's probably already gonna be white. Most people wanna make it transparent or another color, but let's say you're on some other color or you need to make this transparent background that we have here into a white background. All you need to do is add a layer that has white on it. My favorite way is to create a rectangle as the background layer. The way to do this is find that rectangle tool. The shortcut key might be U or Shift U until it toggles through till you've got the rectangle. I'm gonna not have a stroke on that rectangle. I'm gonna have a fill. I can adjust the color, make sure it is pure white, 00100 right here. We'll make sure of that. Hit OK. And then once I click and drag, it's going to create from the center. Depending on your uh, options in Photoshop, I'm going to hold Option or Alt on Windows to create a rectangle bigger than my canvas size. That's important. Once I do that, Okay, so we got a white rectangle on top of everything. Well, I want this rectangle to be at the very bottom of my layers panel, and that's gonna become my background or above whatever previous background you have. Now, that's pretty easy. I've got a white background. And cool part, I can double click the thumbnail of that rectangle, change it to any color I want. You want a little bit off-white or a little bit gray, you want a black background, doesn't matter. You can change that color really easily. Now, the other way you can do it is by creating a new layer. I just did that too quickly, so let's do that again. There's a little new layer icon at the bottom of your layers panel. It's going to create a new blank layer. You can drag that to the bottom. There's a couple things we can do with this layer. One of the things we can do is shift F5 to fill and we can fill that contents with white and hit OK. So now that layer is filled with white. Now these are pixels. So if you increase your canvas size later, you might have to increase that or fill that layer again or whatnot. That's why I like using the rectangle. I can just scale it up and down, but that's another way to create a white background. Now, if you want white backgrounds at the start of your document and you don't want to have to do this every time, well, if we go to file new, we're creating a new document. We want to make sure the background contents is white. Now you can select a couple different options here, black background color. You can select transparent or even custom. If you want it to be white, which is usually default, you can actually start all your new documents just by including this white background. It's going to have a background layer that is white, just like that. And that's how to create a white background here in Photoshop.